Hi everyone, I'm Matt. Woohoo! And I'm Percival! <laughs> uh, hey Percival! Hey Matt! Hello world! <laughs> well, look, Percival, you, you're very excited. Yes, I am very excited. Yeah. And you know why, Matt? Uh, why? Because today we are starting a brand new series! <laughs> we are! Uh, so Matt, yeah. what is the series on? Is it on Jonah and that great big fish? Uh, no, we've actually already done that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about uh, Jesus coming the storm? Uh, nope. Uh, what about the walls of Jericho? <laughs> no. Or David and Goliath? Hi, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, what about all those animals and that great big boat? Uh, no. I think you mean no, ah. Uh. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding with you. All right, so, Matt, what is this series about? Well, today we're starting a new series on the topic of suffering. Suffering? <laughs> like. Bad stuff happening. Yep. And people teasing you. Mm hmm And people fighting. Yeah. And people dying. Yeah. Oh, what about running out of toothpaste? <laughs> uh, not sure about that one. Oh, Matt, this does not sound like any fun at all. Well, it may not be be fun to think about, but it is important. Well, important for you, maybe, but uh, I think this is just a bit too heavy. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, suffering indeed. Mm, mm, uh. Well, okay. Well, today we are starting to look at the huge topic of suffering together. There is so much suffering in our world, whether it's sickness or fighting or wars or natural disasters. We've, we've probably all seen people suffer. And many of us have experienced suffering ourselves. In fact, even as you watch this, some of you may be suffering. And so we need to think about what has God got to say about this topic? So we're going to be looking at some of what the Bible has to say. All right, Matt. I'm back. I thought you were leaving. Well, I was. I thought you said this topic was too heavy for you. It is, Matt. It is too heavy, maybe. Right. But that does not mean that we should run away from it like scared little bunny rabbits. <laughs> That's very brave of you, Percival. I have spoken to the other puppets. Right. And we have come up with a list of questions that we want answers for. Oh. Uh, Puppet questions. Right. And we want answers for all of them. Okay. Okay, Whoa! there we go. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> that is of, a lot of questions. Well, we got a lot of questions, Matt. What's your first question? Why is there pain and suffering? Actually, that's a very big question. Well, I know it's a big question, Matt. Have you got a big answer? Well, well, well the Bible gives us lots of answers. Oh, good. And some not answers. I am so confused. <laughs> right, look, 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 the Bible tells us that when God first made the world, there was no pain and suffering. Really? Really. Right at the very beginning of the Bible, yeah. we're told that God made everything good. Oh. So, he made the water. Oh, for nice big drinks. <laughs> yeah, and he made the grass. Oh, to run and play and climb. Exactly. And he made all the animals. Yeah, go the animals! <laughs> and then God made people to rule over and look after his good world under him. Hey, cool. <laughs> yeah. Now, when the Bible tells us that God made all of this... It says, it was good, it was good, it was very good. So there was no suffering. Exactly. Oh, but it's not that way now. No. See, the Bible tells us that when God first made the first people, God gave them just one rule. There was one particular tree. It was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. And God commanded people not to eat from this one tree. But they could eat from everything else, right? Exactly. <gasps> and God promised that if they obeyed him, then everything would stay good. And there would be no suffering. Exactly. <sighs> but God warned that if they disobeyed, well, there would be serious consequences. But hey, it was just one rule. How easy is that? Well, <laughs> in Genesis chapter 3, yeah. we're told that people disobeyed God and they ate some of the fruit that God had told them not to. Oh dear. Yes, oh dear. Oh. And the Bible tells us that ever since that day, there has been pain and suffering in the world. Oh. People get sick. People fight. 
people even die. Oh man, that's awful. It is. But hey, at least the Bible does give an answer. <laughs> Why is there pain and suffering? Well, because people disobeyed God and now there is suffering. Except. Except? Except what? Except while that's always true, it's not the whole answer. Well, the Bible is also clear that not all of our pain and suffering is because of specific wrong things that we have done. It's not? No. For example, there's another book in the Bible about a man named Job. Okay. And the Bible tells us that Job had a great life. He was rich. (gasps) And he had... A great big place to live in. Oh, and wow. he had a big family who he loved very much. Well, it sounds like this guy would have no suffering at all. Well, that's the whole thing. Yeah? Job went through an awful lot of suffering. <gasps> all of his money and his houses and even his family were destroyed. Oh, no! Yeah, and then Ooh. he had awful awful sores all over Mm. his body that meant he went through all kinds of pain and suffering oh wow oh he must have really disobeyed god big time to have that kind of suffering well well, that's that's what job's friends said Mm -hmm. they came and they kept telling him you must have been really bad to receive so much pain and suffering well exactly well no in fact god comes along And God says, what these three friends are saying, it's a load of rubbish. (laughs) It was not because Job had done lots of bad things that he was suffering so badly. Uh, Well, what reason did God give Job for all of his pain and suffering? Well, God never actually tells Job the reason. What, What? Never? Never. God comes along and says, I'm in control. But then he never gives Job the answer to why he was made to suffer so badly. So Job never found out? No. Uh, You know how I said that the Bible gives us lots of answers, but also some not answers? Yeah. Well, often the not answer is, we just don't know. (sighs) God doesn't always tell us. So, So the Bible gives some answers and some... Not answers. Exactly. Oh, so is there anything that we can know for sure? Well, well there is. Yeah? There, there are three things that the whole Bible is very clear about all the way through. Oh, woohoo! Finally, some clear answers. Yeah, the Bible is very clear. Yeah. One, God is always good. Mm. Two, God is always loving. And three, God is always in control. But Matt, yeah. how do you know that? Well, well, we know that from yeah. the whole Bible, but mm-hmm. the time that we see it most clearly is when Jesus died on the cross. Well, what? Well, how does Jesus dying on the cross show that God is good and loving and in control? Well, because <sighs> Jesus died and rose again, People can know that God's plan is always good because we can know that God's plan doesn't end with pain and suffering. There is life even after death. Oh, well, that is good. It is. (laughs) And because Jesus died and rose again, we can know that God is always loving because people who don't deserve it, which the Bible tells us is all of us, can be made right with God again. Oh, that is loving. It sure is. (laughs) Uh And because Jesus died and rose again, we can know that God is always in control because even as people were causing the Son of God to suffer, Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that that was just as God had already decided would happen. Wow, so God is still in control. He sure is. Yeah. Right, so so we got kind of an answer to our first question. Why (laughs) is there pain and suffering? Well, the Bible gives us lots of answers and lots of not answers. That's right. Mm. But we can always know that God is always good, God is always loving, and God is always in control. Wow. Well, you know what? Yep. I'm going to tell the rest of the puppets. Okay. That yeah, but, good. Oh, actually, actually, first of what? all, I'm going to buy me some new toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Bye, uh, everybody. See ya, <laughs> first of all. For many of us, this last year may have been really hard. Maybe some of us are going through really hard times even now. Well, today we've started to think about what the Bible 
has to say about pain and suffering. And we've seen that the Bible gives us lots of answers and some not answers. So when we, or or the people we know, go through suffering, it's good to know that we won't always know the answer to the question why. But we can always know that God is always good, God is always loving, and God is always in control. If you want to know more about what we've learned today, you can check out www.quizworks.com slash home delivery. And if what we talked about today makes you sad, well, then make sure you talk to someone that you know. Maybe it can be your mum or your dad or or the people who look after you or, or someone at church or just someone you know who loves you and who loves Jesus. All right. We'll see you next time.